Hello again, this is an update on my FPV camera. This is a first person view. In other words, when you're you're looking through your uh, from your screen on your laptop on the ground, this is the view you see from the aircraft itself. So this is just my prototype version, which I'm working on with a friend of mine. Um, this is a in this box here is a Raspberry Pi computer. This is a little Raspberry Pi cam. It's a fisheye cam. It gives quite a pretty good view, as you'll as you'll see. Um, this is a, a a Beck. This is just a little device that you uh, you see in the modelling world. Allows you to connect a LiPo battery um, to something that needs a five volt power supply, like a Raspberry Pi. This actually is a very cheap and very effective way to power a Raspberry Pi. Anyway. Um, this whole thing connects to the internet via a uh, Android phone connection. So I'm just going to put a, a small Android phone with a uh, shared um, Wi-Fi hotspot in the aircraft as well, because th this seems to be to be the most reliable, easiest way to get an internet connection. Plus, you have some uh, apps that can go on the phone, which give you a, um, a backup uh, um, location, backup location information if you have to happen to crash the aircraft somewhere. The phone is going to stay on for some hours. You'll you'll be able to use the phone alone to find out where the aircraft is, even if every other system you have fails, which is which is unlikely. Anyway, what I did on this is, uh, as you can see in the video coming up now, um, this is uh, I I put the camera in the back of my car and just drove along the road for about uh, I think five ten kilometres um, out and back, and uh, it kept streaming perfectly to the laptop. So the, the Raspberry Pi was um, transmitting the video through the Wi-Fi on one phone and the laptop I had connected to the, to the um, cellular network on a, on a USB modem. So uh, uh, had, had this been on an aircraft, it would have worked uh, even better, but it was still very stable, uh, no latency. In other words, uh, the, when you move the image, the image moves on the laptop but almost at the same time this is very important when you're flying an aircraft because it's no good if you make a control input and the aircraft moves you know you see the aircraft move two seconds later you, it, it's very difficult to control an aircraft with any accuracy with that amount of lag but th this is a, a pretty much lag free solution anyway um this this is a major issue that i cracked here so anybody who wants to know how to do this just uh, leave a message in the comments and i'll uh, gladly help you out Thanks very much. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, share, like, do all that stuff. And um, uh, hopefully we'll be uh, ready for a test flight soon. Bye for now.